Oh God, we're actually going to do this. Let's get through this together. So it's uh, great to be able to welcome uh, Emma Watson uh, to Parliament to talk about the uh, important advocacy work she's been doing. Uh, uh important? Are you kidding me? There is nothing important and nothing of value about he for she. It does nothing because there are no more rights for women to achieve in the West. They have full equality. In fact, they have privilege now over men with affirmative action. Unbelievable. For a number of years now, the, the He for She campaign has had an extraordinary impact around the world. An extraordinary impact around the world. Are you talking about the retweets from Matt Damon? I think that's about it. Uh, making uh, men... Uh, or manginas. Champions of, uh, of, uh, of... 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 Anything? Anything to be a champion of? No? women's issues that are uh, everyone's issues. And such as, such as, I can think of issues that women are suffering in the Middle East, in developing nations. They don't tend to get off the ground. The feminism, the second wave feminism they so desperately need doesn't tend to get off the ground there. What with the Islam? Are you going to talk about that? No, no, no. We're going to talk about microaggressions. Uh, we're we're going to talk about uh, the gender pay gap. Are we, are we going to talk about wolf whistling or something? Any, they, they don't even talk about that. In this one minute, five second conversation, there is nothing substantial spoken about. And uh, her voice is incredibly shrill. Oh, oh the, the, the way that she does that uh, almost crying thing. I think it is right that women be involved on my behalf in the policies and the decisions that will affect my life. In order to encourage white knights to rally behind her. She's an actress, Justin. An act kind of like you, actually. Uh, is uh, extremely important in uh, making people realize how important this is, and it's a great opportunity to, uh, to connect with her. Um, thank you so much for having me here. It's, it's been such an exciting- I bet it's been an exciting visit. You're in Canada. <laughs> I mean, it's like the second most feminist country in the world behind Sweden, I guess. By the way, this is Justin Trudeau who wants to prosecute people for getting people's gender pronouns wrong. He he wants to prosecute you if you don't call somebody they or Z or Zeer. This guy also wants to make the Canadian national anthem gender neutral. That That's useful. Also, he was heavily criticized for attending a mosque recently in which he was perfectly okay to witness the gender segregation that is standard practice in the Muslim world. He's a complete hypocrite. Again, this is the soft bigotry of low expectations. We hold ourselves to high standards, but not other cultures, right? The women are upstairs on the balcony at the back. The men are downstairs. You're aware that women have less rights than men in the Muslim world, Justin? It's one of the reasons they're shrouded, among other things. If this segregation was happening in the place of worship of any other religion, like a Christian church, for example... His feminism would be in overdrive. You'd never hear the end of it. But it's completely deactivated when it's inconvenient to him. He's been a staunch critic of the Catholic Church's stance on abortion. But he has no problem with how the Muslim world treats women. He even calls them sisters upstairs. And as I look at this beautiful room with the sisters upstairs, everyone here... Unbelievably insulting. As he walks out, the men are taking photos with him, high-fiving him, you know, shaking his hand, and the women can't get near him. You know, diversity is our strength, inclusion, tolerance, yeah, except when it conflicts with his utopian multicultural vision, in which case exclusion of women becomes perfectly fine all of a sudden. By the way, Rebel Media covered this. This mosque that he's in has a link on its website to another website, that promotes the collapse of the Western world and advocates for its replacement with Sharia. <laughs> I just want to point that out. You see, to regressives like Justin Trudeau or Emma Watson, criticism of the Islamic faith's worst aspects is considered racism, even though Islam is not a race. And people of all races, including white people, can be Muslim. And of course, not all Muslims believe the worst tenets of the faith. The vast majority of Muslims are still very peaceful people, but nevertheless, the calls to violence are clearly stated in the texts, and they're being acted upon, which is why we're seeing terrorism globally and jihad. 
But when will you hear Emma Watson encourage Muslim reformers like Ayan Hirsi among others? When will Ayan speak at the UN about what feminism really needs to be doing to help the 800 million Muslim women worldwide? To prevent honor killings, female genital mutilation, child marriages, public stoning, arranged marriages, death for adultery, a, a, a child having battery acid thrown in its face for trying to learn to read, gender segregation, as we've spoken about, the fact that a woman must be covered in some cases completely, her testimony being worth half that of a man's, subservience to her husband. I could go on here. It's never going to happen. right? It, Emma and Justin are, are never going to speak about these things. The disturbing barbaric levels of genuine misogyny will never be challenged by these so-called feminists. Instead, Emma Watson, th- this young lady, who's basically been a multi-millionaire since childhood and has had nothing but privilege, genuine privilege, will harp on about the myth of the gender pay gap and how there's not enough female directors in Hollywood. Visit for me to come and visit your parliament. It was so inspiring that you made your cabinet 50-50. Because it was 2015, apparently. Now it's 2016. What what have you got up your sleeve this year, Justin? Uh, Less less white people? Less white women? Uh, Let's hire people based on their gender, skin color, and religion not based on how good they are. Let's go full South Africa, tank our economy by destroying the meritocracy, by pandering to this PC bullshit, by virtue signaling incessantly about how progressive you are. Let's do that, Justin. (sighs) Unbelievable. You are South Africa, but on feminism. We're very excited that you're a Hibishi Youth Ambassador. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with that title. Probably criminalise people who question feminism eventually. It was wonderful to meet the students from the University of Waterloo who are doing such wonderful work. Being indoctrinated. And um, I'm just so delighted to be here and, and thank you so much for having me. Thank you. That was a one minute, five second conversation that went on about one minute, five seconds too long. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Hashtag he for she.